Wild card playoffs are here. I'm excited. I know you guys are too. This is Dan Hansis along with the rest of the Around the NFL podcast team. Let's play Who Do You Trust? And I'll start with you, Greg Rosenthal. Who do you trust in the Detroit Lions-Seahawks matchup? Jim Bob Cooter and Matt Stafford in a, in a Lions offense that has kind of been scuffling a little bit in the last uh, month or so. Or the Seahawks defense, which has not been close to the same since Earl Thomas left the picture. In Seattle's building, I trust the Seahawks. They haven't been the same. They, you know, let the 49ers score on them early. You know, they let the Cardinals run away with it late in that game. And yet, you look at the players. Michael Bennett. Cam Chancellor, Cliff Averill, Bobby Wagner, K.J. Wright. For all the problems they've had, they've got the best roster in the playoffs so they can come together at least for one game against a team that really doesn't make many big plays. Wes? I think it's a fair question because Earl Thomas in that cover three defense controls the middle of the field. Without him, they're not the same defense. But I agree with Greg. When you've got a team as mentally tough with the playoff experience they have playing at home, so many things working against Jim Bob Cooter this week. Yeah, I think the only way Detroit would have potentially won a playoff game was to win last week against Green Bay and then be at home against whoever. I don't trust Detroit winning in Seattle, and I don't just, I trust the Seattle defense against the Detroit offense that has not had a 100-yard rusher in a game since 2013. No, the, no, no Theo Riddick, too. No Out Theo Riddick. The That's a big loss for them. I just think that I don't know how you go into Seattle without some part of your team being absolutely overpowering. And Detroit does not have it. They have backed themselves into the playoffs with three straight losses. I trust Seattle's defense more. But, you know, things. Can, there's always a funny game in the first wild card weekend. I would not be at all shocked if, if the Lions move the ball well in this game. I just I think that they're the Seahawks are more vulnerable than they've been in a long time in the post. This is not a great Lions team, but something is rotten with this Seattle squad. The way that they have responded to adversity over the second half of the season has not been impressive. This is not the same team we've seen over the last four years. It's not the same de- like there's I don't know what it is. Maybe they've just been there too long. Maybe it's just it's not their year. Something's wrong. Doesn't rotten. it feel like that that rottenness is going to be exposed on national television next week, though? Probably, yeah. As in not this upcoming As in, game. yeah, they're going to get Down out of this road. in their own building, and, you know, it's not going to be the team we're used to, but then next week the bombs start falling. But there won't be – it's not going to be 37-6 this week either, we don't think. No. 